Hello, this is a quick video for owners of the HP Mini 2133 and the HP Mini 2140. Do you have overheating issues? Hmm, I do. Now these machines are legendary for getting super hot and for components coming away from the board. Now I have rectified that on one machine the one that is on in front of us now and I'm about to rectify it on my other one but I want to show you what that is at this precise moment although you probably won't be able to hear it this machine is running pretty much silently and it's running fairly cool as well you may notice in the side vents there it's completely exposed whereas on this machine which is upside down see that meshing that's in there that honeycomb meshing that's what needs to be removed so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a jump cut and I'm going to come back to this system with it stripped motherboard out so we can get to that okay and we're back the motherboard has been um, taken out and pushed aside now the thing is is this meshing is between the two layers the bottom part of the chassis is a plastic construction surrounded by aluminium and this is sandwiched between it so what you're going to want to do is get yourself a screwdriver or some other form of blunt instrument and push it through it probably will tear it's going to end up being a mess but you're going to be saving your machine from certain death I apologise about the light in here, but I need to do this in a way in which I can actually get the thing. Obviously, the camera's in some funny angles here because I need to actually see what it is that I'm doing. So I'm going to leave the video at this point. Uh, you kind of get the idea now that that's out, you want to sort of rip that out. This will make a huge amount of difference to the temperatures of the machine. The machine will still run warm anyway. To be quite honest, I, I don't think that this um, heatsink and fan assembly really was up to the, uh, the task at hand. Bearing in mind, you would have thought that the smaller chip here is your processor, uh, but it's actually not. Uh, this larger chip is the processor. This smaller one here is uh, your video card most of the heat that's generated to be quite honest comes from the video card which I think is why it's got the main pipe there going down onto it the processor itself doesn't actually generate a massive amount of heat um, but the video card is definitely a problem and that one seems to be the more problem chip when it comes to people having to try and reflow uh, and sort that out so for anybody who owns one of these machines or is thinking of owning one and is thinking about reliability issues and whatnot. Uh, this piece of plastic mesh, believe it or not, is kind of the source of all the problems really. The intake mesh is perfectly fine, to be honest. And as the fan is pulling through, it's got a lot more force pushing it out. The restriction with this, it's blowing some of the hot air back in. So this needs to be removed. So I hope you found that video helpful, uh, well hopefully anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching, comment, subscribe etc and I'll catch you in the next video.